She tends to bully, it looks like, senior citizens. You'll see why East Point resident Mary Hall Rayford says that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop you right there, or we're gonna we're gonna stop the council meeting. I'm gonna have a point of order, and I'm gonna talk over you. This is gonna be one of those meetings I've never seen before. East Point Mayor Monique Owens cut her off during public comment with just under three minutes of Mary's allotted time remaining, and it happened to two other people at the same September meeting. The outrageous claims. You're not going to I sit here and assault me, lady I never met. You are out of line. You are out of line. Now, do you want to stand there and talk about your cats and your dogs in the community, but you won't talk about you know, me? Mayor Owen, serving the third year of her first term, did not want to hear any residents supporting Councilman Harvey Curley, who Owens alleges assaulted her last summer at a community event. Mary says she wanted to just exercise her First Amendment right to support Curley. If you can't stand the criticism, shouldn't get into politics. The situation here in East Point getting the attention of a free speech foundation based in Philadelphia who filed a federal lawsuit against the mayor on behalf of Mary and three other women silenced at those meetings. The government doesn't get to choose which side of the debate citizens can speak on. Connor Fitzpatrick, an attorney with the Foundation for Individual Rights and in Education, is overseeing this case. He says public officials can and of course, stop disorderly conduct you during public comment, like cussing or throwing things, but. What the government can't do is cut you off and shout you down because they don't like what you have to say. We emailed Mayor Owens for comment. This clip, the end of that September council meeting that ended abruptly. If we lost the Mayor Owens did not get back in time for this story. Reporting in East Point, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.